I've tried to get rid of this car because I was just over it. It kept breaking and I didn't want to fix it. So I bought another car. I sold it, I bought another car. And then like a couple weeks later, I was like, damn, I kind of missed my Corolla. So I bought another one. Why is it called the 86? It's the chassis code from Toyota. Whether it's the 886 or the new Toyota 86, um, they're a blast to drive. I cannot get away from them. My name is Ron Ng, and today I'm driving a 2017 Toyota 86 and a 1986 Toyota Corolla GTS. So the A86 Corolla um, basically tore it down to the bare frame and rebuilt it. It was actually in really good condition. Uh, the interior was all original. The only thing that was wrong with it was it wasn't to my style. So basically I tore it down and rebuilt everything the way I wanted it. I sanded it all down, um, removed everything to the bare frame and had the chassis repainted. Um, the engine made color was an FJ Cruiser Heritage Blue. Um, as far as drivetrain, we used the fifth generation Toyota Corolla motor from the AE111. It's a 20 valve 4AG. I rebuilt the whole bottom end and top end as well. The transmission is using a TRD 5 gear. All of the um, moldings and bumpers and side skirt pieces, they're all original Toyota restored or brand new if I could find it. I built this car to be dual purpose. It had to drive well and had to be comfortable. It was designed as an economy car that's lightweight and fun to drive, but somehow became an icon where everyone started taking it to the canyons or people were using it in rally in Europe, in New Zealand, in Ireland, UK. The A86 is a blast to drive. It's so nimble and lightweight. Feels like a go-kart. Once you step into this car and drive it, like really drive it, you get really addicted to the way it feels, the way it looks. Even when you first buy it, you're pretty much stuck with it. All the cars that I've had, this car is probably the most fun car and rewarding car that I have ever driven. Driving the old A86 is a lot of work. You always have to fine tune your suspension, your alignment. Even though the motor's slow, there's always something you can do to feel the car the way you want it to feel. 
kind of does teach you how to handle a newer chassis car because it's a momentum car. You always have to push it. Um, you gotta learn your brake points properly to keep your RPMs up. It's a struggle to get the Corolla to go fast. And when you have a newer car, like the Toyota 86, it just kind of comes natural, I guess. The new 86 or the old 886 Corolla, both cars share an amazing driving spirit. Um, it makes you want to go out and have fun and enjoy yourself and push the cars as hard as you can. Driving the new Toyota 86, it definitely has the characteristics of driving the older Corolla. It's engineered to be a driver's car. The new 86 is a tool that teaches you how to achieve high driving IQ. The perfect drive would be a cruise to Laguna Seca, track all day, and drive home listening to 80s jams the whole time. I feel that the A86 is one of the um, most iconic Japanese cars. Super simple design in suspension, amazingly easy to work on. I have owned 11 86s and I probably built six out of the 11. And I feel like the A86 that I build now is my perfect version. But yeah, I've had 11 Corollas and I have a major addiction. There's never been another car that has satisfied me more than the E86. Even if I tried to get rid of it, I cannot do it. It's always got to be there. It's always got to be in the garage. And it's there for me to enjoy, hopefully for the rest of my life. <laughs>